I'm going to show you the Trimble Pathfinder Office export settings for shapefile that you want to use for this process. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up Pathfinder Office. I've loaded this into the default project. I'm going to use the export function here. And I'm going to go ahead and export this file here. And I'll just show you the properties that are important to have set correctly. You want to Export positions only if you're using this file for a track log to geocode photographs. Do not want to record export features. Go ahead and combine all the input files. And this is the important part here. I've set this to show the correction status, but what you want to make sure you have set on for the date recorded, the time recorded, and the position. Those are the three values that you have to have present per observation, GPS observation, in order to geocode the photograph. And go ahead and export this file. No projection file has been found, that's fine flat long. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite this file. It's going to be called position point. While that's working, I'm going to go ahead and fire up ArcMap. By the time this guy's done, yeah, ArcMap will hopefully finally have started up. Probably should have done this from the get-go, but I'm going to go ahead and open this file so that you can see what it looks like. While that's opening, I'm going to go ahead and open it up in its exported form. I saved it into my documents. GPS, default, export, oops. Look, we're adding the wrong kind of file. All right. It should be Trimble Export writes the file out as position point. There's no spatial reference. You didn't have a projection file that went with it. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Okay. So here it is ArcMap. Here it is in. PFO, you can see that the same data. I'm going to go ahead and open the attribute table. Here we have I've included the correction data, the date, the time, the latitude, and the longitude. So what you can do now is just export this file. I'm going to go ahead and it's going to go right back into the file where Trimble shot it out. Export output 5. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the map and just look at it and make sure it's all right and everything is there. There it is. It's all correct. The only information appears to be present. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and now open this file. In Microsoft Excel. Here's our DBF file. Drag that over. Correction type, date, time, latitude. And longitude. Okay, now what we need to do is save this file as 
other format. CSV, comma delimited, CSV, go ahead and leave it as the same file name, shoot that out, may contain features, yeah, you're not worried about that, close this file, don't need to save it there, now we're going to upload this to GPS Visualizer. Okay, I have in the meantime, fired up Firefox here and loaded GPS Visualizer conversion tool. We're going to browse and upload export output.csv. I'm actually going to cancel because it's already uploaded. We want to be sure to set the output format to GPX. Leave this to default. And then you'd click convert. Since I'm here in a hotel room in Peru and the internet connection is slow, I've already converted the file. I'm just going to move forward. Here, it's produced the text file that you can cut and paste or you can right click and save the link as. I've already done this. The link is down here. It's created this GPX file. It sits on the desktop. There it is. So from there, I'm going to load up RoboGeo. And then I'm going to import the GPX file as a track log. Here it is, 222. Open. Track log was loaded. You come over here. You see the time, the latitude, the longitude. And then you can load specific images that pertain to those days in those times. Here they are from here. If you wanted to write this out to the EXIF, you'd simply click here, write the data location, and here we go. It's now processing these four images. And that's it.